Warning, do not confuse any lightheartedness in the following video with a glib attitude toward the problem at hand. The makers of this video are very serious about the prevention of hospital infections. If you watch this scene long enough, you see there's an incredible number of providers that come and go in a hospital room. Nurses, early bird interns, aides, rounding team of attending and residents, another shift of nurses, in and out, in and out, the resident on one of the consulting teams, the consultant teams attending, another shift of nurses, more consultants, transporters, on and on, unbelievable amounts of traffic in one room, then on to the next patient, the next room. Now think about this. Multiply all that by the sheer number of hands that touch the patient or anywhere in the patient's room. If you're a patient lying there in the bed, or maybe your child is the one lying there in the bed, central lines snaking into your child's chest, wounds open, or neutrophils in the basement, you start to worry where all those hands have been in other patients' rooms, touching thousands of other surfaces. I mean, what's on those hands now? You've heard something about those multi-drug-resistant, multi-headed bacteria they have in hospitals? Nurse, you forgot to wash your... Hold up, doctor. Nurse, you didn't wash your hands. Come on, guys. Your patient doesn't want you to bring in all those MRSA, pseudomonas, multi-drug-resistant meanies. It's gross. It's dangerous. Let's redo that. Ah, much better. Wash your hands on the way in. As soon as you cross into a patient's space, whether it's an inpatient room, a clinic room, or a procedure room. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to wipe down equipment between each patient. We in healthcare really got to work on this one. Making sure multi-use equipment is clean for each patient. Because some types of equipment, like stethoscopes, blood pressure devices on wheels, glucometers, x-ray machines, are used on many patients in a given day, sometimes in quick succession. You don't want to use contaminated equipment on your patient. Wipe down equipment at minimum immediately after you use it or right before you use it, so that your patient sees and knows that what touches him or her is clean. Yes, and on the way out. Last stop, hand hygiene. Wash in, wash out. Every patient, every time. Make it a habit. Make it automatic. See, it doesn't slow you down. Your patients and families thank you.